Professor Jakob Svensson. You're the member of the Economic Sciences Prize Committee. Please tell us a little bit more about this year's prize. What kind of research have you awarded? Yeah, so generally, the research is uh, the common denominator is research on consumption, uh, and more specifically, uh, Data's contributions are uh, divided up to three uh, core components. One has to deal with uh, deals with so-called demand system, trying to understand what uh, consumption people uh, consumption choices people make. That's function of prices of these goods and uh, their income and uh, various other potential important factors. The other uh, important contribution deals with more uh, thinking about aggregate relationship between aggregate consumption and aggregate uh, income. And where he has uh, shown that uh, in order to understand these uh, patterns in the data in a, in a better way, we need to start from the individual and start to understand individual behavior to then aggregate up to the to the national level. And finally, has done a very important work on measuring and understanding living standards and poverty in developing countries. And among his many contributions are uh, developing tools to uh, measure poverty uh, in cases where we don't have very good price and quality data on the, of the goods that people are consuming. When did he do his most important research about this? Yeah, I, the, the, the research on demand system was done in the late 1970s. And, uh, much of his work in the, on, uh, on the aggregate relationship between income and uh, consumption was done in the latter part of the 1980s. And from uh, the 90s uh, forward, he has done a lot of work on, uh, on developing uh, economics. And he's still an active researcher? He's still a very active researcher, very okay. much so. So, and more findings to look forward to? I probably think so. Okay. Uh, has the politics just anything to learn from this kind of research? Yeah, I think you as, a, as, as policymakers, you have a lot to learn from this research. I think uh, uh, all three of his core contributions have a direct link to policy. And so, demand system is a tool you can do to evaluate different types of uh, economic policy uh, proposals, like changes in taxes. Uh, his work on the aggregate income and consumption uh, you know, is an important issue when it comes to stabilization policy and to understand the correct type of actions you should take. His uh, insight of understanding individual behavior is hugely important. Finally, his work on poverty has had a, a large impact on how you actually go about to measure poverty in many developing countries. It's a price about consumption. Has the ordinary consumer anything to learn about this, like you and me? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, first of all, I think we do because we care about uh, uh, the welfare of, 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 uh, of poor individuals, of poor households in developing countries. And in order to do anything about that, we need to measure and see how many they are and where they live and what you can do about it. But of course, uh, also when we think about governments changing various uh, economic policies, I think it's important for uh, us to know how it will ch uh, affect our welfare. Was it hard to make the decision this year? Uh, this is only my second year in the committee, so I don't have so much to compare with. Uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a long process, uh, so, um, but I think we, uh, in the end we were very much in agreement that this was a very good choice. How did Laureate react when he heard the news? Yeah, I know him a little bit. I thought he was in a, in a bit of a state of shock. Uh, he is usually a very elegant and a speaker that answers in long sentences, but the uh, replies we got were very short. But I think he was very, very happy. Uh, extreme poverty has decreased in the world today. Can um, uh, Angus Witten research help us to have the decrease to continue further on? Yeah, I think what uh, I think primarily uh, Angus' work on uh, on poverty is how you measure it in the best possible way. And I think uh, measuring poverty well is important to be able to, in order to evaluate what policies works and uh, what do not. And here he has made a, a huge impact. I think there's, uh, if you look at the data, there's nothing that uh, tells us that uh, this reduction in absolute poverty will not continue. Uh, but of course, we, we never know. And finally, has the laureate written some kind of book for the big audience that we can read if we're interested in this topic? Yes, uh, just uh, a year or two ago, he came out with a book called uh, The Great Escape, if I remember correctly, which uh, uh, talks a little bit about his uh, own life, but also uh, more generally about patterns we observe in the data and uh, long run development in uh, income and poverty and welfare. That, I think, is a very good book to read.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.